And we begin our meeting also with an even, a John. For him also we can say that he's good. Ivan Dragicevic, married with four children, living in the United States. Here from Medjugorje, he's one of the visionaries. Now, Leighton, in a special way, has entrusted to him the prayer intention for youth and for priests. That is why I now invite our good Ivan to address you. Praise be Jesus and Mary. Dear young friends, I'm truly happy that I'm able to be with you today and to share with you this good and joyful news to which the Mother has been calling us, to which the Mother has been inviting us through these 34 years. One of the first messages which Our Lady through us has transmitted to the world in 1981 was the following. Dear children, I am coming to you because I desire to say to you that God exists. Decide for God. Put God in your lives in the first place and together with Him, set out into the future. You see, at the beginning of the very apparitions, Our Lady clearly said that we must put God in our lives in the first place, in a special way, in our families. Thirty-four years it has been since Our Lady has been with us. 34 years of grace. Our Lady has been coming to us. She desires to help us. She comes to help us. To show us the way out from this difficulty in which we are finding ourselves. She desires to extend a remedy to our pain and to raise this sinful humanity calling us tirelessly to prayer, conversion, penance, and firm faith, that we may all have peace and salvation. Our Lady said, Dear children, ask of God the grace that He is giving to you through me. I am ready to ask of God for everything that you are asking, so that your holiness may be complete. Our Lady came and introduced herself as the Queen of Peace. At the very beginning, she said, Peace, peace, peace. May peace be. May peace reign between God and man and among men. Our Lady clearly said that true and real peace can be given to us only by Christ. He is our peace. In order to have peace for which we long for, Our Lady called us to more firmly believe Without firm faith, it is not possible to come to peace. It is impossible to have peace. Where is God's gift that enables our entire being to be given to God? Prayer is the act of our surrender and complete trust in God. All he desires that our entire life may be imbued with the act of faith. 
True and living faith does not exist without a daily conversion. That is why our Lady tirelessly calls us to conversion. Conversion is grace, which is always preceded by God's step. To convert means to always seek God, to know how to be humble before Him, to admit our evil and our sin. To convert means to return back to God, to renounce sin and Satan. It means to change oneself, one's way, one's behavior, one's life. For our conversion, to be holy, fun founded, rooted, it is important to pray. So often during these years, Our Lady has repeated the words, Pray, pray, pray. Prayer is the heart and the soul of our faith. Prayer is the most beautiful flower, the flower of the heart. It comes forth from the heart, grows, and develops. Our Lady does not grow tired of calling us to prayer. Our Lady desires that prayer may be a joy for each one of us, refreshment, consolation, spiritual help to honor our life's journey. Our Lady, in a special way, calls us, invites us to pray with the heart. How many times she has repeated, has called us to pray with the heart, not to pray out of habit, not out of some kind of a habit that we have. To pray with the heart, first of all, means to pray out of love and with love. To pray with one's entire being. It means completely to be open to God. Our Lady desires and inspires us to come to experience the prayer with the heart as an encounter with God. It means to unite in this way with Jesus, to feel and experience the beauty and the greatness which God gives us. Prayer is also a gift of God for which man longs for. He desires to speak with Him and unite with Him. Our Lady says, Be aware, my beloved ones, that I am your mother, and I have come to earth in order to teach love how to listen and how to pray out of love. If we may be able to persevere in the way of faith, conversion, and prayer, it is necessary to be continually ready to renunciation and sacrifice. In a single word, we must fast. That is why in a special way Our Lady calls us to fast on Wednesday and Friday on bread and water. A fasting man entrusts, firms, and assures his authority over himself. Only a person who has authority and power over himself and governs with himself is capable of surrendering himself to God. Let us open our hearts to the messages of the Queen of Peace that we may be able to have peace and that true days of peace may dawn upon us and we may be able to experience the fulfillment of the joyful hope. Without any exaggeration, it can be said that the world is in a greater crisis than today. The crisis have come about as a sign of our times, especially the crisis of faith, the crisis of faith and belief in man. And especially, even more so and more, more expressed, is the crisis in the faith of God. It is like the dead end street. In order to be able to protect the faith, to be able to continue to grow in faith, a lady has given us the daily food, recommending it, prayer, especially the prayer of the rosary. Holy Mass, more frequent receiving of the Holy Sacraments, reading of the Sacred Scripture, monthly confession, adoration of Jesus before the Blessed Sacrament and veneration before the Cross. 
especially where it calls us to renunciation. Renunciation at the beginning seems to us that we are losing something, but in fact it is a great gain. Jesus himself says that everyone who ready renounces will receive a hundredfold even here in this world in the future eternal life. Let us remember the example of the grain of wheat. If that grain of wheat does not fall upon the ground, it cannot bear fruit. It must lose itself, disappear, die, in order to be able to bring fruit. Renunciation is the scattering of the seed. God asks of us to give to him what we have, so that he may be able to give to us a hundredfold. Our Lady says, Dear children, I love you, and you also love. She comes to us out of love. She teaches us that God loves us immeasurably. A lady knows that it's not easy to learn to love. That is our assignment our, for our entire life. In a special way, a lady calls us to the Holy Mass. The Mass is the center of our life. I remember well, at one of the apparitions, the six of us were kneeling, and a lady said to us, Dear children, if today you had to make a decision of coming to me, to meet with me, or to go to Holy Mass. No, do not come to me. Go to Holy Mass. Because to go to Holy Mass means to go to meet Jesus, who is giving himself in the Holy Mass, to open up to him, to speak with him, to receive him. The beauty of the Holy Mass is, consists in that it is the living sacrifice of the love of Christ that gives itself for all of us. Every time when we are at Holy Mass, when the Holy Mass is celebrated, we must know that God is giving himself for all of us. He loves us. He is prepared to give himself to us. And that without condition, unconditionally. In a special way, Our Lady is calling us to pray for, and she prays for families, for holiness in families. The family is a spring of love and life, the first and the greatest life school. The most profound joys and sorrows are experienced in the family. The family is a garden. It is the greenhouse of life. Love, they are created. The crisis, in a special way, has overtaken the family. The family is so in danger today that it is very difficult to find the remedy. Every fourth family is separating, falling apart. In the family, there is all the less love, faithfulness, and joy. The family, all the more, is being destroyed by unbelief divorces, abortions. It is horrible to hear today that on the streets today there are over 80 million children. Many children are addicted to lug, drugs, alcohol, other vices. There are more and more children from divorced families, newspapers, television, pornography. All the more are causing today the destruction of family and are killing the family spirit. Where did this horrible illness come from? That separation and divorce of many families, that crisis has existed from a long time ago. It is only deepening more and more. There are many causes, but most often it is that most families have lost Jesus. He is the foundation and he is the leaning post of every family. The mystery of the family happiness is to respect God and His commandments and thus in a mutual respect and love of all the members of the family. 
if we desire to have a happy family, then we must bring into them Christ's gospel. In this way, it will create a family environment in which joy will be created and realized in the family. Once, a stateman, Benjamin Frankel, looked at the, the workers who were building a house. Among them, he noticed a man that he was happier, more content than others. He came to him and asked him, why is he happy, content? And the laborer answered, the mystery of my contentment is this. I have a golden family. My wife is such that I couldn't find a better one. In the morning when I rush to work, she kisses me before I leave and always says to me, May dear God protect you and defend you. Do not grow over tired and take care of your health. When I return back home, tired, already at the door she waits for me at our house with our children. She joyfully smiles at me and asks me if I'm tired. The supper is carefully prepared. Briefly, I don't feel anywhere as good as I do in my family. I have a family that brings me joy. Our Lady is calling us. Our day today desires that each one of our families may be a living church. As Our Lady says, Dear children, there is no living church without the living family. Today's families are spiritually sick. Today's family is wounded. Today's society, today's world cannot be healed spiritually. If the family is not spiritually healed, the mother is calling us. She is our mother. She is very concerned about our salvation. That is why our tireless call is that families pray and that we may all pray for families. And that is so important. She fervently desires that God may be in the first place in every family. God is the foundation and source of life of each family. That is why the family must be the holiness of life, the center of holiness and life. The call to holiness is directed to everyone in the family. It's where holiness is born, in the environment of faith and love. It is there where holiness is actually born. It is a great gift of God. Our Lady desires that with God we count always in our life. He will give us the peace and He will defend us from all Satan's attacks. Our families only in this way can be healed if they return completely to God. Those who have broken every connection with God are lost and woeful. The mother comes to us. The mother comes to us as a teacher. She desires to educate us. She desires to lead us in a pastoral way. She is the best pastoral teacher and educator. It has been 34 years since Our Lady has been saying, speaking to us, calling us, warning us. And if you want to express all of the messages in one message, they could be basically this, Dear children, you are dear to me. I am with you and desire to help you for peace to come. But it depends on you. Therefore, pray together with me for peace. Decide well. Decide for the good and fight against evil. The mother speaks simply. She repeats and is not growing tired. 
desires to help by her intercession She's for collaborators. Ali does not want us to know what others need to do, but for us to open our hearts and to do what is in our power. The first thing that we can do is to have our hearts open to peace. She prays for that intention. Peace in your hearts. The peace in the heart of men, peace in the world is not possible. The heart of men is the setting place, set out place for peace. Ali says, Dear children, if there is no peace in a man's heart, if man does not have peace with himself, if there is no peace in a family, then there cannot be peace in a world. That is why, dear children, I am calling you. Now do not speak about peace, but start to live peace. Let's speak about prayer. Start to live prayer. Dear children, in this today's world there are too many words speak less to your children and work more on yourselves your families peace in our hearts we will best understand when we become aware that peace is a gift of God that we must open our own good the question that is posed from that is of a life importance. What can I do for my heart to be at peace with God and with men? We are inclined to accuse others because of our own restlessness. We must clear the terrain of our own heart, and that is the most hard of works. But the promise is peace to open the hearts for peace that God gives us, for which Mary prays. That is the condition for peace in our families, between husbands and wives, children and parents. For a peaceful heart is born a peaceful family. And with the peaceful family, a new world is born. There is no other way. Mary, prays that the King of Peace may grant us peace and that He may bless us. Mary herself blesses us and carries us in her heart. She behaves towards us in a motherly way. She has placed us in her own heart. We are not lo no longer alone. She prays with us and for us. She blesses us. She desires what is good for us. And thus carried in our heart, let us resolutely set out for the new time. Who knows for how many times our Lady has called us tirelessly to prayer. She tirelessly calls us to the same call. This is where the question is posed. Why is our Lady calling us so much to prayer? Many Christians today who claim that they leave have abandoned prayer and they exist spiritually or are dead spiritually are there not there are many who are in spiritual coma that only from time to time they open their spiritual eyes because oh, Easter or for other feast day through the year others pray very little they have remained in the prayers that they have learned as children and they are not growing spiritually Prayer in itself is a meeting with God. Prayer means keeping company with God the Father and Jesus in the Holy Spirit. It means the immersion of the soul into God's love, a peace that God gives us. Many people complain that they don't have time to pray. But the time is not the problem. Ali says, Dear children, the problem is love. Dear children, when somebody loves something, likes something, he has time for it. But if a person does not like or loves something, he will never find the time for it. Please come to us, her children, to call us to herself, 
to take us by the hand and lead us to God. Our Lady calls us to become missionaries. A missionary offers and gives what he has and believes. No one who does not have peace in himself cannot become a missionary of peace or collaborator of peace. In the world, there are many of those who call to peace. But these calls oftentimes are out of restlessness and lack of peace and do not open man's heart. Our Lady is clear also with the conditions that we need to fulfill. She calls us to accept the message that she gives us with love. The message accepted by love becomes life. A lady is a mother. She carries us in her heart. She says, dear children, if you knew how much I loved you, if you knew how much I really loved you, you could cry with joy. Mother does not permit herself to be tired. Waiting, she always hopes. That is why she calls us not to judge or condemn the world, not to shout at the world, not to criticize it. She knows about hatred and restlessness. She's not looking for who is guilty or who is responsible. A lady knows that love and the light, goodness, and peace are stronger than hatred and darkness, evil and restlessness. She cares that together with her we may stand against hatred and restlessness. If that was impossible, she would not be calling us, inviting us to this. That what she's asking us to do is really possible. would love to accept what the mother is calling us to. To permit the river of love to flow into our hearts that by his divine love he can cast away darkness and bring light cast away restlessness and lack of peace our lady has introduced herself as the queen of peace who does not forget her goal and the need of her children and that is peace therefore she does not grow tired of calling us and warning us is act like every mother in a family who does not give up in leading her children to the good. Where there is no faith, there is no love. The mother continues to teach us in a message. Faith and trust in God by the opening surrendering of our hearts to God who is Father. Our human problem is that oftentimes we turn to the world looking for peace. And then we become disappointed. Because today's world cannot give us peace. Peace is only in God. One of the most beautiful calls that Mary has directed to us, we find in this message. She calls us into her motherly, motherly arms. Throw yourself into the mother's arms. Find protection, peace, and certainty, security. One of the messages in which Our Lady is calling us is, Dear children, also today I call you to prayer in a special way when Satan wants hatred and war. I am again calling you, little children, pray that God may give you peace, peace in every heart, to every heart, and be carriers of peace in this restless world. I am with you. I intercede before God for you. And you do not be afraid. Who prays does not need to fear evil and has no hatred in his heart. Thank you, dear children, for having responded to my call. In a special way, I will recommend all of you, your needs, your all of your families, especially all of you, the youth who are present here. The lady says, who prays need not fear evil and has no hatred in the heart. Her voice is stronger. 
is stronger than the strong and weak with the weak. Through his strength, the shackles have fallen. Let us respond to our call of love that we'll be able to be the collaborators of the new heaven and the new earth. May your coming here be the sowing of a new seed. May your coming here be a new beginning of your new spiritual renewal. Let us be responsible. Let us responsibly accept that to which the Mother is us. And let us live it. Let us today be a living sign, sign of the living faith. Dear friends, may it be so. Thank you very much. May Mary protect you on, on your journey and accompany you. Thank you. And we continue with the song.